So hello and welcome to the March 2024 installment of last month in UK Fun Fest. Nearly lost track of where we were. Um, so we're actually taking a breather um, because of the many videos that are actually drafts but have yet to be scheduled to be released. Um, we've got three past fairs that where, where we still haven't uploaded videos from um, because of the influx of videos uh, we've got coming. Um, but they should be released hopefully at a later date. Um, so normally we will start off with news with events, but instead of that, we do actually have some rather sad news regarding the Dingles Fairground Heritage Museum. The Fairground Heritage Trust have announced that the Dingles Fairground Museum in Devon will be closing after the 2024 season. In a statement from a spokesperson it said, a large number of factors have combined to force the trustees to take this very difficult decision. Since the pandemic, it is increasingly clear that with a limited season, a remote site and a scattered, rural local population, the site is not viable as a standalone single product museum attraction. In addition, we have long benefited from favourable rents and, as our lease is due to expire shortly, that will inevitably lead to further cost increases. This, taken together with aforementioned reasons, we can see no viable path to continue to operate in Devon. To read the full statement, go to Dingles FHC. Company UK forward slash Dingles closure. And now on to some new rides that have come onto the UK Fun Festing. The UK's newest confolding group Extreme made its first ever outing at Exeter Arena. Blaze, which is the 17th ride of this model across the UK and Ireland, was completed for David John Rowland arrived at the event two days after it was collected from the factory. We managed to catch the ride debuting and it certainly proved to be a hit with the locals. Bob Wilson's fun fairs have taken delivery of a brand new Dodgem track from Polish manufacturer CBK Technic. The track which is understood to have a much bigger layout and footprint to the standard tracks from the firm made its debut in Southall of West London. PWS rides have shown off the latest sizzler to be completed. This one was finished for Max Wadlington and Bradley Bedford of Mandby Attractions and made its debut at Wakefield in West Yorkshire. PWS also shown off the other twist named Cyclone being delivered to Owen Curry who will be placing the ride within Curry's Fun Park in Portrush. On topic with PWS, they have shown off a teaser photo showing the framework of the bench for their prototype Miami ride. The frame is currently being built by the contractor in Poland and should arrive to the UK before the end of the spring. Henry Chipperfield Jr. has purchased a Van der Beek star flyer named Around the World from Daniel de Voer in the Netherlands. The new owner took possession of the ride in February and first opened with it at Bray in Ireland. And finally some ride changes that have happened during the month and we're starting this off with what we thought was an early April Fool's joke and what was a dream for many enthusiasts in the UK but now the dream has become reality. Check this out. It has been a dream of many enthusiasts in the UK to see the ex-Billy Crow Equinox KMG Tango to return. Well, the dream has officially become reality. The ride which has spent the last 12 years in the USA with two past owners has returned to England with new owner Christopher Dantea. Currently there are no plans to open the ride with immediate effect, but we hope to catch this legendary machine for the first time when it first opens with Christopher and are wishing him the very best of luck. Following the passing of Perrin Matthews in February, wife Samantha has taken over ownership of his Xtreme KMG Speed and will be first opening with the ride at Peterborough Mart. We are sending our best wishes to Samantha during this time. James Dantea Jr. has taken over ownership of the KMG Freakout of Father James Sr. The ride is currently open for the first time in the hands of James Jr. at this year's Peterborough Mart. We wish James Jr. the very best with this venture on his first big machine. Joseph Manning and William Thurston have sold their spinning mouse coaster to James Stokes Jr. and James McKay under the company name M and S Attractions. The coaster which was built by Turkish manufacturer Levent Luna Park is expected to be spending the year at Ocean Beach in South Shields for the 2024 season. Sheldon Locke has sold his Ferris wheel to Alan Jenkins. 
The ride first opened with the new owner at Wadebridge Showground after some testing at the year. Adventure Parks Limited have sold their Tivoli Orbiter named Vortex to Cruise Coupland. The ride was brand new to Adventure Island in Essex's South End on Sea in 2001 until it was relocated to York's Web Adventure Park in March 2022. It made its first ever outing on the travelling circuit with Cruise under the new named Lightyear in East Coat of the London Borough of Hillingdon. Henry Chipperfield Jr. has sold his European wave swinger Lamborghini Flying Swinger to an unnamed buyer in the USA. The sale comes as Henry has made way for the Van der Beek around the world star flyer of Dutch showman Daniel De Voe. Evan Moran Jr. has sold his Nottingham UK Miami named Extreme to John Birch Jr. The ride which previously spent its time at Hailing Islands Funland made its first outing with John at Hampstead Heath in London. Another Miami to change hands was this one called Ibiza of Tonya Cole who took over the ride following husband Robert's passing in March 2016. It is however staying in the family with it now being in the hands of Robert Cole Jr. And with all that, back to the studio. So that is it for the March 2024 instalment of Last Month UK Fun Fairs. Now, um, following this, we do have a few videos from Thunderworld in Bristol to release. We do also have a vlog of the event um, on our Theme Park Before YouTube channel, so feel free to go and check that out and give some support to that. Um, then after that, we've got some videos from Plymouth. So, the videos from Thunderworld, um, most of the, the, well, the new additions will be uploaded. Um, however, the veterans of Thunderworld will be saved for a later date, so it could be maybe later on in May, because we've, got a load of, we've, got, we've actually got a load of videos to get through that we still haven't posted yet and we don't want to post them all in one go because we don't because we want to help you know expand them as if the channel just keeps on giving so uh thank you so much for watching and as always see you later